Hello, I'm Raven's Ma. Welcome to GM Vault. It's time to walk through Scabbard RPG Campaign Manager from square one, covering all the new features because so much has been added over the last year or so, we need an update. All right, so we're gonna start with square one, how to create a campaign and a brief overview of all the amazing features. Okay, I'm inside Scabbard RPG Campaign Manager. I've already logged in. I'm here on my page. So I'm gonna just gonna start a new campaign by clicking the plus button right there. That's gonna take me to a basic page where I get to rename my campaign, which we're gonna call Adventures in Evermore, which is my own homebrew world. A uh, brief summary of campaign, uh, new party starts I can always rename this later. We won't put in any description here right now, but you can see I can add in anything I want. If I click those three buttons right there, you can see all the different tools that are available to me, including being able to add a picture and uh, linking, if you'd like to link to an external site such as d and Beyond or something like that. And of course you can have all the basic features of managing your text, including putting in some great tables. One nice feature, I'll show you this, uh, new campaign, is I can select that right there and I can add a title like that and make it look really nice. A lot of great features in there. That's all been added in the last year or two. Um, the creator of Scabbard has really gone all out, making sure that you have all the features to make your text look super sweet. So we're just gonna click save and that will bring us to our brand new campaign. And you can see I've got this great sort of tutorial going on here, but on the left-hand side, that's really where I wanna focus. There are adventures characters, PCs, which are a subgroup of characters, events, which you have subgroups of encounters, and session logs. We'll go into that in a particular video. Groups, items, places, of course, the atlas, which covers any of your uh, places that have a map, vehicles, which is a kind of an item, but specialized, and then notes, which can be used for just about anything, folders, attributes which I have access to and of course templates if you have a legendary subscription you do get a lot of these buttons and I'm working in a legendary subscription in my campaign videos all right so the first thing that we are going to do is create a place so let's do that right now I'm just going to click here I'm going to click the plus button you can see I can create a place by just clicking that plus button right there make sure that you can see that there we go you can see creating a plus button also allows me to look at the template right there. If I had a template set up, but this is a brand new campaign, so I don't have one of those right now. But we'll cl click create. And we're going to name our new place. We were going to we we're going to call this Albanier. A city by the sea. All right? An alias allows us to add in any number of different names for our place so that the auto linking feature, which is one of the best features in this system, will pick it up. So for example, we could call it uh, Seaport. And we'll just go ahead and capitalize that. And then comma, and I could also put um, Alba near the city just to make sure I have some stuff in here. Now, obviously, you could have an alias for a character. You could have uh, King Edervain the Pious and just put the king's alias in there as the king. And anytime you write the king, it's going to find that and auto-link it. In here, you would write a description about Albanir is the home of Bulbus Aldo, Aldonir. Save and I have a new place. Now, one of the nice features is if I go in here to edit, say I wanted to make this look really nice, and we're gonna wrap that in a block quote, and if I wanted to put stats in here as well, so we'll just save that real quick, stats, can edit that right there, we'll call this uh, stats for the city. You could put in things like population, size, and geography. That's all we're doing for this video, so check out the next one where we're going to talk about creating our character, Bulbus Aldenir. Thanks for watching. This is GM Bulbus.